Hello everybody, I am back. Why did I not post a video yesterday? Um, okay, I'm gonna be honest. I've been playing entirely too much Link's Awakening. <laughs> I don't want to tell you my total play time because you would cry. Um, but today I am back and I thought, well, since I didn't do a video yesterday, I'll make a custom figure showcase today with two figures. Uh, that are within the same theme, kind of. So today we'll be taking a look at my custom Arkham City Rage Al Ghul and uh, Talia Al Ghul. So let's jump right into it with Ray. Here is Rage Al Ghul. He uses Ulfurus head and hair. He uses two different versions of Zod. This is General Zod's hair piece from the Lego Batman uh, movie minifigure series. I believe this is the second series. Um, that figure's not worth that much. And then the General Zod from, was it 2015 when Man of Steel came out? Was that, tw was that 2014? Whatever, uh, the Man of Steel version is odd. <laughs> um, but not the side with laser eyes. The other side has laser eyes, I think. Yeah, that doesn't fit Rachel Gould though, so we're gonna pretend that doesn't exist. Um, but then we have a dark green cape, I believe... I get this cape from a 2010 Harry Potter set, like the Quidditch one, and I gave him bare arms and hands, just a gold sword for, you know, Rage's iconic sword, and I think this figure is expensive, I could be wrong though. Probably the most expensive parts are his torso and legs, because those are from one of the uh, Dead Men of Dunharrow from the Lord of the Rings line, so well, not a lot of people know the name of the Dead Men of Dunhero, but it is the big Lord of the Rings pirate ship set. It was the ghosts. Um, it was one of, one of the ghosts' torso and legs, but yeah, so if you're trying to make it like I am, that might cost you a little bit. I'm not completely sure, though, but let's just move on to Talia. Here is Talia Al Ghul um, in Arkham City. I guess I should have said this that I guess I should have said this with Rage, but they play really big parts in Arkham City, and... Spoiler, skip 10 seconds so you don't want to hear. Talia is killed by the Joker in Arkham City. Okay, N no spoiler time anymore. But Talia is a really simple figure. I just gave her Rage's sword again because... Well, she also uses the sword. Um, she has Hermione's hair from 2010. Uh, this face print is... Oh, it's Wonder Woman's. Yeah, it's like the 2015 Wonder Woman's. Um, maybe it's the 2012 Wonder Woman. Whatever, just any Wonder Woman you have, the face works. The body is actually Lady, Lady Iron Dragon from the Lego like, Ninjaga movie. I gave her uh, silver chrome arms. Not uh, the... Gunmetal, but gunmetal actually probably might work better, I'm not sure, but, and then I just gave her regular black, black legs. So if you're trying to recreate this figure, it's pretty inexpensive, but there is Talia Al Ghul. Anyways, that's pretty much it for the video. Um, the Talia, like, Talia is kind of hard to make just because her hair is, like, two different colors. With Her hair is mostly this color, but, like, darker, and then with, like, blonde highlights, but I'm pretty proud of the Rage Al Ghul. I think it went... It, it came out pretty well. Um, I really love Rachel Ghoul, and Talia is a pretty good character. But, like I was saying, that's pretty much it. So, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and click the bell so you a video. Don't be crackled, and peace out.